When I golf, I yell four. I hit seven and write down five. Actually, I don't golf because I don't hate my wife. Guys that golf hate their wives. If your husband golfs, it's because he, he hates you, ladies. Did I just break the bro code? I may have. Fishing is the best way to be bored before 7 a.m. That or listening to WLS. I played college football for Notre Dame. Not true. Anyway, so I'm playing college uh, football for Notre Dame, and there's these two conjoined twins. Man, they were, they were massive. And I'll never forget the coach would say to him, Give 220%. Go, go, go. Hi, I'm Man Cal Muller, and I am a homo sapien. What was the name of that monster with the nuts on his neck? No, not Jeffrey Epstein. Uh, oh, Frankenstein. We all have negative thoughts. Don't speak negative. They're stillborn, dead, if you don't speak them. Speaking things out loud gives them power. Speak only positives. I tell you this time and time again. Speak only positives over yourself and certainly your babies, your kids, and those you love. Speak positive. My favorite lyric is by a band called Yes, the brilliant John Anderson. Don't surround yourself with yourself. Think about that. Don't surround yourself with yourself. I never wanted people around me on the radio show, chuckleheads that would laugh. I don't want people around me now. I don't want to go to dinner with me right now that agree with everything I say. I like arguing. Uh, we did at the dinner table. Uh, we would always talk about environment versus heredity. That was our big argument growing up. And, I, and my dad would challenge me. And, and that's, why I was, that's why I was good at what I do. I, 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 but that doesn't mean I hate you. Now, oh, you're angry. You're, no, I'm ex there's a difference between excitement and anger. No, you're not completely brain dead. You're angry. No, I'm not angry. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm not angry when I go to a Bears game. Yeah. Oh, he's angry. Angry. He's loud. He's angry. No, I'm alive. Stop it with that. More of that cancel culture BS. Okay. So I like being around people who don't agree with me. And I have a lot of people on my show that I don't agree with. But amazingly, anyone I talk to, well, I must agree with that. No, they're interesting. They think differently than I do. Alex Jones, a lot of what he said, I, I can't, yeah. Uh, David Icke, fascinating people. I don't agree with everything they say. Now, they believe in reptilians. And uh, I've met people. Boy, this is going in, uh, this is going into cuckooville for a lot of people. But the person I'm closest to in my life had a dealing with a shapeshifter. Do I believe it? How can I? Uh, I was in Valparaiso, and someone took me aside and said that they had seen something. I had a preacher, Steve Muncy, Family Christian Center, tell me that when he was counseling someone in prison, there was a reptilian shape-shifting. They, they see something shift, and you can see, some have said ancient, old, but reptilian features under the human flesh. John Carpenter, I talked to him about They Live. We were at a restaurant called Prosecco. I was with Aaron Gray, who played Wilma Deering on Buck Rogers. It was her, and it was uh, a Kane Hodder, who played uh, Jason Fry 13th and John Carpenter. Oh, and Bruce Campbell from, from the Evil Dead movies. Evil Dead 2 is just so brilliant. Brilliant movie. Dead by dawn, dead by dawn. So John Carpenter wanted to smoke, and I went out with him. And he had been cold to me. John Carpenter did Halloween, Escape from New York, The Thing, a lot of great movies. And he'd been, he'd been rather cold to me. Uh, come on, let's smoke a cigarette. And we went outside, and he said, They Live was prophecy. If you ever seen the movie They Live, it's prophecy. So reptilian shapeshifters, why am I even bringing this up? It came up once in a while on my radio show. A guy named Jim Mars, Ruled by Secrecy. Uh, believes that, well, he revealed a lot of things. I was with Harper Collins, and I saw behind the scenes. I had a New York Times bestseller, and I saw behind the scenes how they tried to uh, crush his book on 9-11. Again, I didn't agree with a lot of stuff he said. He believes that aliens are behind a lot of stuff. Anyway, all this reptilian stuff, and people have told me LeBron is, uh, LeBron, who I don't like, LeBron is, uh, is one of them. And then, doggone it, if I'm not at Target and they had this toy. Evil is decloaking. Do I believe it? Do you? I don't know. If you have any information, please DM me, direct message me on my Instagram account. God bless.